morning everyone. I am traveling to Chennai tomorrow. So it is the day before my Chennai travel and I thought I'll show you exactly what I'm up to. I am getting my outfit sourced. Uh, I have a stylist who's, you know, just getting that entire look of mine together. I probably will go for a nice, beautiful, bright Malmal sari for tomorrow's event. And it's going to be on the second and I have a small meet and greet. I'm also super excited because I'll be traveling in, with Jovita and Shreya is also going to be there. So it's going to be the three of us and I'm really, really looking forward to it. So I have to get my nails done because it's complete. It's so ratchet. I swear it has broken, chipped. Uh, and that's what happens when you have to take care of a baby and you're feeding her and you know it's just the bane of my life okay some indian spices sometimes can really stain it and look really really shabby so i've got to get this sorted i have an appointment at around 2 30. i have given a few blouse pieces for stitching uh, and for alterations i'm going to go and pick up that from convent junction because i want to take a few backup as well not that i don't trust the stylist or anything but I usually like to take more than one or two backup. And right after Chennai, I'm traveling to Goa. So I need to get my outfits all sorted, my shoes back. It's going to be a long day. So I just thought I'll take you along with me and show you bits and bobs of what's happening today. I am so excited for this Chennai trip. Um, besides the fact that I'm meeting everyone is that uh, after my baby shower <laughs> it's all three of us together Shreya, Jovi and I uh, the last was the baby shower and it was so much of fun and we planned so many things to do together but then Covid happened lockdown happened and travel ban took place uh, Shreya was supposed to come to Europe and um, we thought all three of us would do a Europe trip uh, but I guess this is a good enough reason to get together so I have that one option and the three blouses out here. So I've got a beautiful mirrored white one. Uh, this is the black one. Uh, I've got to have them stick back. The, I got these two from Amazon and I also got that blouse from Amazon. And a few saris out here which I'm going to do a fall. I'm not going to be taking the saris to Chennai. It is just the blouse but this sari is so beautiful. We're thinking it's too transparent, but to do something with it. Hey, so I'm just waiting outside the supermarket. Oh, let me reduce the AC here. All right. <laughs> was really noisy my outfit is sorted i think suta of bombay the saris uh you know i'm sourcing the outfit from them my stylist they have uh, you know they have provided the sari suta sari i'm waiting for mom i hope she doesn't shop the whole supermarket you know her pachakari is also going to come right now you know one full crate of it so i am going to see you guys at home because zoya my stylist will be um, heading towards my place in the next two three hours i won't show you the outfit but i'll show you exactly what i'm doing in terms of just packing for my staycation in goa as well as in chennai hello all right guys so zoya left pretty late we got our looks all together i think i'm gonna go with the sari that she chose uh the packing is all done i'm sorry i couldn't show you exactly what all i put into my bag but if i get to chennai i definitely will i have an early morning start tomorrow it's already 11:45, and i just want to clean my face right now um so i am just going to show you exactly what i'm up to first uh, let me just brush my teeth my routine in the night as well as in the morning is very very simple and i have simplified it even more so i'm just going to remove my um, whatever makeup residue that i have uh, half of it has already gone because it's just been on my face for too long so i am taking the living cleansing balm then i met you i have mentioned about this even in the best cleansing balm video i'm just going to gently massage that all over my face just to remove the leftover residue of makeup and whatever skincare product that i applied in the morning and the sunscreen because i reapplied sunscreen all day since i was out all day a nice double cleanse will just break it down i'm just gonna that on my neck as well because I do apply sunscreen on my neck nicely massage it okay, I'm just gonna wash my face right now 
and end with the second cleanse and that is a face wash. If you do not follow a morning skincare routine and you do not apply makeup, you do not need to double cleanse. Just a face wash is just more than enough guys to clean your face and you can follow a 60 second ritual with your face wash. I've mentioned it so many times. I've already made two videos on YouTube with regards to that. I still follow my 60 seconds and I only do it once a day. So I'm gonna be taking a face wash right now. This is Requil's Oil Control Face Wash. It's a nice gel-like face wash that really helps in breaking down the rest of the makeup residue, skincare. Because anyway, the oil cleanser has done the trick. This will just seal the deal. And I wash my face, my neck, my ears, my forehead. It's not about the time out here, it's about you being mindful about the technique of cleansing your skin and allowing the ingredients in your face wash to break down. If your skin is too sensitive for a double cleanse, then you can just go for a 60 second. Just find a face wash that is suited for your skin type. The next step usually is a treatment step. So whatever treatment skincare that you have, like for example, if you've got breakouts, then you can apply salicylic acid. If you want something anti-aging, you can go for retinol. So I'm going for the Inky List Retinol right here. And I'm just going to apply this on top. And what I love about this retinol is it says serum, but it's like a very hydrating moisturizer. And then on the back of my hand also I apply my treatment because, you know, the neck as well as your decolletage area and the back of your hand ages faster than your face. Like I mentioned, with the retinol, if you're starting, if you're new to it, then just make sure you do a sandwich method. But because I've been using retinol for a very long time, I'm not going to apply any moisturizer before that because I'm literally going to be applying a sleeping mask right after this. Long ago when I first started my skincare, I remember whenever I used to apply any actives or ingredients like retinol based ingredients on my face, I used to apply a sheet mask. And you guys know that I've been extremely vocal about the non-usage of sheet masks. It's not at all good for the environment unless you find the biodegradable one, but still that is something that collects in landfill. I'm talking about the outer packaging. I have been loving sleeping masks lately. Every time you apply anything that is strong treatment wise, like for example, a retinol can be a little too strong for many skin, especially for sensitive skin, and you want to pack in that hydration, go for a sleeping mask because it does the same thing like a sheet mask does. It packs in that hydration, but for a longer period of time. It protects your skin all night. I just want you to try this one product from Dr. Sheth, and that is the Haldi and Hyaluronic Acid Sleeping Mask. This is such a hydrating, beautiful product. It's got 0.5% hyaluronic acid. It's got 1% ceramide complex, 2% squalane, and turmeric oil globules. You know, whenever you buy a moisturizer, you need something that is going to plump up your skin and pack in that hydration and also brighten a dull looking skin. You need something that is going to protect your skin's natural barrier. You need something that is going to restore and calm it down. And that's what a ceramide does. It just packs in that nourishment for your skin. And that's exactly what you need at nighttime as well. This is something that even when you're traveling guys if you know how people like to apply their sheet mask when they're in the aircraft I would highly recommend you to use this when you're in the flight when you're about to take off this just protects your skin throughout the journey before I board the flight I'm going to apply this because it's just going to make my skin feel a lot more nourished and hydrated so that when I reach the hotel I don't feel parched my skin doesn't feel dehydrated and parched so I am just going to take a pump of this that's it. It's a nice thick consistency right here, as you can see. And I'm just going to apply that. It's so soft to touch and it creates this layer, like a sheet mask. And the turmeric in it, you know, that fresh turmeric fragrance coming through, that little granules of turmeric, super hydrating, guys. You're not going to regret this investment. 
Usually they say that you're supposed to apply hyaluronic acid on top of a damp skin, otherwise it will make your skin drier. Nothing of that sort with this product. So that is why it is suitable for all skin type. If you've got dry skin, you're going to love it. Anyone from the age of 18 all the way to mature skin can enjoy this product because it's a great combination of occlusives, humectants, emollients combined beautifully into one sleeping mask. Don't just take my word for it. You need to try to believe how magical this one is because when you sleep with it, uh, it just protects your skin and when you wake up, you wake up to a very soft, supple skin and also a plump looking skin. But there are days when I'm really lazy and when I apply a sleeping mask like this that has already got squalene, that has got, you know, ceramides, that has got niacinamide, that's got centella, I don't need to apply anything else in the morning. I just have to splash cold water and my skin feels extremely hydrated. It's a beauty of a sleeping mask. That's about it. That's my night skincare routine. I am going to sleep right now. I've got a beautiful thin layer of hydration packed on my face. I am going to sleep and see you guys first thing in the morning. Hello, Chennai. I'm finally here. I've just checked into my room right now. Uh, very nice room, very, very spacious. What is this? It's got a sliding door. Mm, very kinky. Jovi and I, we traveled together out here and Shreya should be, I think she, her flight was uh, slightly delayed. So we decided we were supposed to come together, but we got here early. We we're just waiting for Shreya. So the plan of action right now is we are going to get ready. I'm going to freshen up and get this cabin smell off me and <laughs> just uh, you know spruce up and then go to the mall where the store opening is tomorrow oh there's our gift bag by JC chemistry so let's see what this is let's do an unboxing right now second i hope i'm opening it the right way and loads of juicy chemistry goodies so we've got the my favorite rose up seed oil this is my absolute favorite another winner a must have from Juicy Chemistry and that's the Bulgarian rose water, the best rose water I've ever come across. And they've got a new lip balm guys, this is the peppermint and chocolate lip balm. And another favorite, current favorite of mine, um, this is the vitamin C brightening serum. Thank you so much Juicy Chemistry. Guys, I'm gonna get ready and I shall talk to you soon. <laughs> He would have killed me now, being the videographer. To sort out my phone. My beer, beer. <laughs> what is that sound effect again? Beer, beer. Blog, blog. The friendly vloggers. Very friendly. <laughs> Shop and stuff. Oh, yeah. yeah. Wow. Well, look who's here. Oh, oh, juicy chemistry store. Oh, how nice. Hi, oh, is Mega here? Yeah, she's here. <laughs> hi, hi. Well, well, well. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hi. Congratulations, by the way. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. You guys oh. deserve it oh. so much. Wow. Hello, ladies. Hello. Oh. Last time I met you, you were pregnant. I know. <laughs> Congratulations, by the way. Thank you for bringing me here. <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh, you yeah, have flip flip again. Rude. One more time. There you go. <laughs> Rude. The wind in her hair and the oil in my So. <laughs> and the ghee on this. And the ghee on that. Mm. Waiting for America mm. to invade your scalp. Mm. Yes, that's the one. Mm. Well, this one has a. Uh, Dyson is noisy, but some mm. invisible. This. I just had to show my presence. <laughs> my hand. <laughs> And Shweta will go all, ooh la la, bikini model shoot right now. <laughs> They wanna say my name, but they holding back.
they wanna say they hate, but they know it's cap. I ain't play no games, I just do that's fact, and I don't feel no shame. It's a mood you lack, I go crazy. Nah, but I ain't lazy. Track after track, I work on this daily. Pass me the jack right as Good morning, guys. So it is the day of the event. Oh, I'm super, super excited. I had the best sleep ever. Something about this bed. I've stayed in hotels, but this bed at the Western, it is like first of all it's like as if you're sleeping you're you're on a cloud okay it's so soft and i just sank in and usually i have anxiety when i sleep alone in a hotel room i need the music on i need dim lights on as soon as i snuck into the bed and you know put the sheets over me i passed out i was super tired number one and i had the best sleep i woke up at around four o'clock to drink water after that it was 7 30 and we all were like let's go for breakfast we went downstairs and had our breakfast i really filled my stomach i ate a lot because we've got a long day i don't even think i'll have time for lunch uh because uh you know two o'clock is from two o'clock onwards is the meet and greet and i have to get ready and we all promised to meet uh, outside where we are doing a reel <laughs> so the last half an hour went on making reels I don't know how kids do it man I mean this transition and this reel and TikTok I'm so bad at all of that and I mean the BTS is more funny than the actual reel what more what more what else uh, yeah so I'm just gonna get ready I have a sari I thought I'll wear it's like red sari black blouse and I know it'll be a little I I'm just going to go all out uh, because you know I don't get to dress up as a mom like this you know I don't get to uh, whenever I, I get invited for you know small small things uh, the last I dressed up was in Dubai when I was called for Vizier Art and for forever but I want to really go uh, like all Indian I'm not gone all Indian dressed up all Indian for a function and I think no other better opportunity for me to just you know dress up Indian and go uh, for a meet and greet instead of a western wear as usual so I have such anxiety when I meet people uh, nobody knows that about me because when they see my videos they think I'm super confident I am guys and I was never like this but I think because of lockdown and during my IVF I secluded myself so much and I was so stressed and so unhappy and so uh what you call it scared you know that there's that post trauma that i'm still carrying so ever since that has happened from 2019 on with something about me has changed which i'm taking i'm seeking help for it by the way that even when i go out and i step out like the only person who knows about this is jovita i've ordered uh, tender coconut water i'm actually very lazy right now but i think nothing that a good shower cannot fix so let me go do my stuff and i'll talk to you soon So this is my outfit. I've got my makeup all set. Um, I have to, <laughs> I need help to get my blouse ready, you guys. And then I will take off the sari pleating, but I'm a mess and I'm just waiting for the girls. I've just got one cuff. I think that's more than enough. And this jewelry. Super, super excited. Fingers crossed. I hope everything goes well. I like the way the makeup's looking. That Lisa Erich makeup is looking really nice. I think I'm all set. I look like the juicy chemistry. <laughs> the colors as well. Quite happy. I can't wait to see all of you right now. Let's go.
two, three, four. Doom tech, tech, doom tech, doom tech, tech, doom tech.